In this video, I'm going to do a series of Ohm's Law problems. And this is designed to really be the first introduction to the most basic circuits. I try to emphasize, sort of uh, visualize uh, what's happening to the potential at various parts of a most simple one loop circuit using Ohm's Law made of batteries and resistors. Okay, so for Ohm's Laws of circuits, we know that for any uh, given resistor, the voltage change across that resistor is equal to the current times the resistance. And we know that the power dissipated by that resistor is given by the current times that voltage difference, which, given this relationship, can be rewritten as either I squared times the resistance or the voltage difference squared divided by the resistance. Okay, so let's take a, the, the most simple system with an EMF and a resistor. So we have a source of an e EMF and we have a resistor. So this is our, our EMF and the large terminal we say is positive, the small terminal we say is negative, and so that's going to create an electric field in this direction and that's going to uh, push negative electrons in the other direction, but we say that the current then flows in that direction. The current is everywhere the same because as charges move they push other charges through. So the rate that ch that charge goes through this, the circuit is the same everywhere. So let's say that for this system our uh, EMF is equal to uh, uh, 10 volts, All right, 10 volts, and we say that it in, induces a current around this loop of 2 amps, and then we can want find the resistance and the power. All right, so the resistance in the, the circuit is calculated by delta V over I, so we find that to be 5 ohms and then the power uh, can be either I, v, I delta drop, which is the, the, the voltage drop across the resistor, which is the EMF, which is, uh, in this, so this is just 20 amps. And of course, it also works here. I squared is a four times the resistance five, that's 20. Or here, delta V is the EMF in the circuit, which is squared is 100 divided by five is also 20. Okay. So let's let's look at what's happening in this in this circuit with the potential. So I'm going to draw look at a graphical representation of the potential as the uh, system goes around the circuit. So this is the the potential as a function of position. Okay. So the the system starts. Let me get a different color here. So I'm if I'm going to call, I have, I have, I can choose where my zero of potential is, and so I'm going to choose this point right here to be my potential is equal to zero. It's also going to be my starting point around the position, and I'm going to go first uh, across the EMF, and so the EMF creates a potential difference of 10 volts from the positive to negative. So as I go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal, my voltage increases from 0 to 10 volts. Now, as I uh, travel around this circuit, let me get a new color. So now as I go around this circuit here, this is all conductor. And the, um, the voltage is constant everywhere on a conductor an ideal conductor. And so around for the green part, then the the potential is constant. Okay. So then the, um, let's see, get a, uh, so then the system goes through the resistor and through the resistor, it loses a uh, potential equal to the resistance, um, uh, times the current, and so as it travels through the resistor, the potential drops back down to zero, and then the rest of the way, the potential 
is zero. It has to end at the same potential that it started. And so that's sort of for the, the simplest picture what the potential is doing as a function of position around the circuit. The, the EMF increases the potential as you go from negative to the positive terminal and uh, it decreases as you go through a resistor the direction the current is flowing. Okay, so that's a, a simple circuit and the um, in the next video we'll continue with a slightly more complicated one.